Oh, hello there, Oliver. Fancy meeting you here. Actually, my name is Gary, but I prefer to call myself Potato Man, Lord of Vegetables. It's a matter of personal taste though, really. Anyway, do I know you? Yes, we met last week watching the F1 race at Korea. But this makes no sense as I have never been to Korea. But yes, I have a vested interest in Formula 1. How did you know? I know because we watched it on television at the local pub. I can't believe that you don't remember anything. Well, that would probably be because I was heavily wasted. We were waiting ages for the restart. Oh dear. Where did you learn English? It's restart, not restart. How dare you disrespect me like that, merely because I'm forced to use a computer program to speak, following the collapse of my vocal cords, because of all the rooting I was doing for Lewis Hamilton, when he won the 2008 title. Oh, so you are a Hamilton fan now. I suppose all the other drivers are now obsolete, merely because of a young, full of himself McLaren Spawnling who causes major accidents in all the important key races, has no personality, and a girlfriend who is a former member of the Pussycat Dolls. Jesus Christ, now you are getting fucking Larry. You are just jealous, because Hamilton is black, and your dislike of him proves that you are a racist. It's not that I dislike Hamilton, it's just that he isn't perfect. And if I did dislike him, how would that be racially motivated? I can't believe that you are even asking that question. Every insult towards Lewis Hamilton has to be racially motivated. It's in the Ten Commandments, don't you know? Thou shall not insult thine divine child, Lewis Carl Hamilton, and if thou doubt insulteth him, thine is a racist. Now you are just speaking bullshit. Blah blah blah, yak yak yak, dribble dribble dribble, is all I am hearing from you at the moment. All I wanted, was to have a legible conversation with a fellow F1 fan, regardless of our opinions on Lewis Hamilton. But no, you just want to argue. No, please forgive me, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. In fact, let's not talk about Hamilton at all, we can choose an alternative subject that no one has any real feelings about, that's what Jensen Button is for. Actually, I think he's quite cute. He seems like a lovely man. Well screw you bitch. He's out of the running for the title now. And he has a Japanese supermodel called Jessica Mixed Batter or something, so I doubt he would be interested in you. Let's change the subject, what are your feelings on team orders? I think that at this stage of the season, teams can afford to focus on one driver, if they are in a two car team which is competitive. However, what Ferrari did in Germany to Massa, at such an early stage of the season, was unfair, and clearly shows, that they don't give a shit about him. That said, Alonso has a reasonable cushion now, so perhaps it was worth it. In the end though, we were robbed of a great race between the two of them, and I thought that Alonso acted like a brat when he couldn't overtake his teammate. He should grow up. Actually, you're wrong. Ferrari has a great pedigree in Formula 1, as well as various other forms of motor racing. Historically, they have always favored one driver over the other, Fangio over whoever his teammate was, John Satis over Wolfgang von Trips, Jody Schechter over Giles Villeneuve, Schumacher over Irvine, and Barrichello. The list will go on and on, and although team orders are clearly immoral, they are going to keep happening, so shut the fuck up, and deal with it. Also, Alonso is an awesome bloke, he nearly tread on my brother on one occasion. Now, what about Red Bull? Red Bull clearly have a definite pace advantage at almost every race of the season. Vettel is quick, but has made more mistakes than Weber. Both have full support of the team, but only one of them is going to win. Indeed, if something awful happens, Fernando Alonso may just walk away with it. I think that Mark Webber has done a sterling job so far, and he's the driver who has done best, rather than Sebastian Vettel. Have you been living on another freaking planet? 
The only notable thing I've seen him do, was that backflip in Valencia over the Lotus, and did you see how many times he screwed up in front of his home crowd in Australia? If I was Mark Webber, I would hang myself, as soon as possible. And also, Sebastian Vettel watches Little Britain, as well as Monty Python, which automatically make him awesome. I now declare everything else happening in F1 to be dull and boring. I bid you good day, whoever the fuck you are. Gaw what, I hate know it all dickheads.